Well, I'm very pleased now to welcome to France 24 Keith Cowing. He's a former NASA employee himself, and he's the editor of the website NASA Watch. Thanks for joining us on the program, sir. There's obviously some confusion now as to whether or not this rocket will blast off today. What's your understanding of what the technical challenges have been this morning? Well, it's... Um this is a test flight, which means they're doing a lot of things for the first time. And unfortunately, as they were testing this rocket prior to this attempt today, they didn't get to test everything that they wanted to. So today, when they started to do one process where liquid hydrogen was being sent through the system and the engines were all being checked, one of the engines didn't want to cooperate, and they don't know why, and they've tried all the tricks in the book. And now they've uh, had a 10-minute meeting that's been going on for 45 minutes, and there's some bad weather coming in from the West. So as we in the space beat would say, uh, I kind of smell a scrub, which means probably maybe not today, but I've also seen launches suddenly turn around and happen. I, I wouldn't give you good odds on this one, though. All right, well, well, we'll be watching those images very closely. We'll see whether or not this happens within the hour, later on today, or perhaps indeed in the next few days. But it will happen. And when it does, the goal is to get humans back on the moon again. We obviously already did that 50 years ago. So explain to us why we're trying again. Well, I remember the last time we did this. I suspect you didn't. And I already know that more than half of the people on this planet I've never seen anybody walk on the surface of another world. So, yeah, we did it once before, but for most of humanity, this will be the first time. And back in the day, it was a, you know, a sort of a fist fight between the U.S. and the Soviet Union. Now, this rocket has a European upper stage. It has three test mannequins inside, two are European. And among the first people to walk on the surface of the moon when it does get there will be somebody from Europe, America, Canada, Japan. So... It's, say, it's the same in some ways. It's very different in other ways. A few people have described it as a dress rehearsal for Mars. Would you go that far? Is that the big picture goal here? Yeah, uh, I've, I've been on long expeditions to the Arctic and to the Himalayas, and um, I made sure I could set my tent up in my backyard. And I slept outside a couple times before I thought of even trying it. So if you want to go to Mars where the trips take several years and you really have to wait for a year to come home, you may want to test out how it is you work on another world. And the moon is very close. It's a different world in some ways, but it's very similar in others. A, you're far away and your systems have to work. And B, you have to learn how to react uh, to things that you didn't expect to happen like they are right now at that launch pad. Let me ask you a question that I, I've heard talked about in political circles in the cu past couple of weeks in relation to this planned flight, which is, look, this is very expensive. Billions of dollars of US taxpayers' money are going to this when we know there are real problems here on planet Earth that need addressing as well. Why is this worth the money? Well, it's a valid concern, and this was originally proposed as a cheaper way to go back and do Apollo again, but our politicians got involved and said, no, you need to use that old rocket. So if you look at this and say it looks like a souped-up version of our space shuttle, you're correct, it was. And NASA had a lot of other people telling them what to do, and it cost far too much, and it took too long. Simultaneously, you have SpaceX, a 1,000 miles to the west, making rockets that are far more powerful that are so cheap to make that when they blow up, they just do a blooper reel. And so I think what we're really seeing here is, although you see this launch pad with an American NASA rocket, it's a hinge in history. We're getting an update right now. And they've called a scrub for today. So that's the official word from NASA. But back to your question, we're seeing the old way of doing things and the new way of doing things simultaneously. And given the costs and the complexities of the NASA rocket, this may be one of the few times it's ever launched just because of that complexity.